But this situation is really out of my control and I just can't do it anymore. A Phoenix mom and pop shop is closing its doors for good. And it's not because business isn't doing well, but because the owner says she cannot find enough people to work for her. Holly Bach is in Phoenix with more. Well, the doors are officially closed here at my gal Sal Bakery and Cafe in Phoenix. The owner had the option to re-sign her lease at the end of the year, but tonight she is having to make that very hard decision of shutting her doors for good simply because she does not have enough people to work for her. So for me, I feel today like my best friend just died because I have to walk away from all of this. Tears filled the eyes of my gal Sal Bakery owner Salmon Schroeder as she served her last customers today. And I'm going to miss a lot of my customers who have become my friends. Sal made her dream a reality. She came from overseas and opened a bakery in Phoenix. She says she has been successful for the last five years. Her shop even voted best bakery in the Valley in 2018 and 19. But an unforeseen situation arose once the pandemic hit. Nobody wants to work. I don't know where the people are. Sal says 24 people recently applied for open positions. 16 of them did not answer her follow up calls and the other few did not show up for the interviews. I'm just mentally exhausted. I just can't do it anymore. Sal has been working 14 hour days to try to keep her business afloat. Closing her doors was a decision out of her control. This has been a really awful experience for me. Sal says she was paying her workers above minimum wage and gave year end bonuses. She says even with these incentives, it wasn't enough and she's not alone. I know a lot of places are struggling to find employees. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> to lose that just all of a sudden is just, I can't believe it. You know, it's a shock. Customers filled the bakery today, ordering their favorite treats for the last time, giving Sal hugs and well wishes. She has created an, an amazing, amazing business. Her foods are wonderful. I'm going to miss her. Tonight, Sal says she doesn't know what the future holds for her. She hopes the workforce will recover so she can once again serve those in the community. And I will always be so thankful for all the support I had over the years. Now Sal says she still has a ton of ingredients inside her shop, so she plans on baking some more goods with what she has, then donating that to the local food bank. Reporting in Phoenix, Polly Bach for Arizona's Family.